and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA checkout for 20% off your order. All right, guys, so EA ended up giving us early Blitz information regarding the Blitz promo, and obviously, of course, we weren't ready for it. So I was going to click upload on my last video, this video, actually. I had it all rendered out, so I got to remake. So I'm going to be a little bit late in this video, guys. I'm sorry for that, but I want to go over all this for you guys. So the Blitz Welcome Pack does give you 100 Blitz Bolts and a Blitz Tip. Now, it appears that Blitz Bolts are going to be the brand new currency. So that's going to be the new currency that they were hiding before. We kind of knew it was going to be for the Blitz. Now, this is probably what you're going to be using to get, like, Blitz Packs and stuff. And, or maybe, there'll be store offers using Blitz Bolts. We really don't know how they're going to go about this yet. This could be in a completely different dynamic than what we're used to. So, obviously, let's keep going through this to see. First thing, we got the Blitz Solo Challenges. Blitz 101. Blitz is our key part of destroying your opponent's offense. Learn some new Blitz terms and check out these challenges featuring play one pass, one point, one rush attempt, minus one point. So, these are solo house rules, if you guys didn't already realize. House rules, negative three downs, negative 15 yards per down. Plus or minus one point on completion, minus points on rush, take point, take three points on sack or attack for loss, no special teams. So this is pretty huge for all the guys that don't hate playing house rules online and they can't win, or they don't want to be glitched or cheesed with like stupid like delay glitches or like penalty glitches like before. This is going to be offline. Now you apparently you can only play like, I think it was like eight a day or something like that. You can only get eight wins per, no, eight wins per every segment because you know every eight hours and updates. So it's going to be eight wins per, so that gets you, that looks like it's a thousand bolts right there. So we don't know how much bolts can be worth just yet, but definitely be playing your solos. So you're going to have solo house rules and online house rules. Now, like I said, Blitz Bolts are the currency and apparently there's going to be multiple masters. So last year in the years past, we had like, you know, Dick Lane as one master, one year we had Deion Sanders. This year, apparently there's going to be multiple. So we could have like Pat Mahomes and Lamar Jackson or, you know, multiple players. So there's going to be multiple masters, not just one this time. So it's going to be a different Blitz promo than we're used to. Also, it's going to be an online house rules. As you guys can see, let's keep moving over to the screenshots to show you guys the online house rules that they have the pictures. And this one right here also, play bits, uh, play Blitz, Blash, Blitz, Bash to earn Blitz Bolts. Make sure every event is winnable eight times per fresh every eight hours. So these are the hourly solos I've been talking about, the ones that you want to be getting done every few hours. He's going to give you like quick little spurts of cards, Blitz Bolts potentially, and everything else. So make sure you're getting those done on time. Now, this is obviously, now there's two. Here's the Blitz Strike. This is the solo one. There's Blitz Tug of War. So there's going to be two of them. That you can play offline it appears like different ones you can play so get those done you know earn your blitz obviously earn your blitz things obviously now i'm over here the blitz tug awards each team will get five offensive plays to score be closest possession changes after each play play on harder difficulties for more rewards but be careful each star pushes you back further now there's gonna be harvest limited time come earn some early blitz rewards these limited time harvest challenges this content will not be available after 12 p.m. on Thanksgiving. So these will be announced. These will be, uh, I think, activating tomorrow. So there's gonna be limited time solos that will be out tomorrow. Maybe you have to play your dailies to unlock them. We will see that tomorrow. And then these are the online house rules: 25 blitz bolts per game, uh, 200 coins per game, and then 100 coins per loss. There's blitz drive and blitz hot potato. Blitz drive is offense has one drive to score, defense needs to stop them. Hot potato is 20 points for 30 passing yard touchdowns. Minus one point for an incompletion, six second pass timer, no special teams. This is actually pretty interesting. Starts in the fourth quarter, two minutes. They're going to be really, really quick game modes. I don't know if the reward will be a car, but as of now, it's looking like blitzes. And like I said, the limited time off for tomorrow, guys. That pretty much covers up everything for the blitz. Now, I'm going to go I'm gonna go into the outro. It's going to be a little sounding different because I recorded this afterwards. But guys, just letting you know, there will be more information tomorrow around 1030. So expect that. Hopefully, this helps you guys out. Now let's, let's finish the video. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got the 10:30 content. It is 11:27, which means it's November 27th. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, which means the Blitz and everything tomorrow. So this is our final 10:30 content video before the Blitz and everything pretty much starts, and Thanksgiving and the holidays all start. So the guys are here right now. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna give you guys the Harvest Daily Riddle first. And again, to those heavyweight cards. The heavyweight cards are actually pretty cool today. I love when the heavyweights are linemen or defensive linemen. I hate when they're like something dumb. But the heavyweights are typically that, so like it's not bad. I like when they're good linemen and good um, good defensive linemen. Flashbacks throw me off all the time. A lot of other things. But heavyweights are pretty consistent. You can typically enjoy them, especially when they're like centers. Like today, like Alex Mack. That's a solid center right there. Especially since center is like a position where if you don't have Frederick or um, Mawai, there's not really many others that you could have. But we'll get into all that as the video goes on, obviously. And let's go over this riddle. But before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, smash that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. We are 60. I'm going to tell you right now. We are about, no, we're 
yeah we're 60 subscribers away from 13,000 subscribers boys everyone watch right now if you're new to this video which i know you guys are a lot of you guys are smash that subscribe button let's get over let's get over to 13,000 in the next hour everyone watch right now hit that subscribe button comment down below if you guys think this riddle today is hard because this riddle seems like it might be a little longer than the others and if you haven't already make sure to smash this like button can we get over 200 likes in the first hour? Everyone watching right now, if you're here every day and you come every day for 1030, come on guys, it's, it's like day seven of the riddles, show some love. Can we get 200 likes in the first hour in this video? Everyone watching right now, smash that like button. Now let's get into this video. So let's go over to challenges. Let's get over to the riddle. I have pro football reference open for you guys to give you guys this. I literally figured this out in like a minute. These really aren't that bad to figure out. I mean, you guys probably, a lot of you could probably figure it out on your own at this point. So the next one is Hall of Fame Showdown. Now real quick, for all you guys asking, what is the rewards? What is the rewards? As I say in every video, I don't know. Kralos said, do every day's challenge, and there will be a reward at the end, more than likely. So just keep getting them done. Just get them done as, if you can. They last until December 3rd, so you have time to make them up. I have every single one on my channel besides the first one, because I was not home that day. But go back to all my videos. You can rewatch all of them to figure out all of them if you need to get them done. Now, today is this Hall of Fame showdown. The 1996 Chiefs vs. Lions pitted two Hall of Fame halfbacks against each other in epic fashion, which is true. Select your two answers from the artwork below. Use the correct answers to complete the challenge. This one starts in the first quarter with 10 minutes. So... Plenty of time as usual. They give you so much time to do them. They're typically not that hard. So A, Marcus Allen ran for two plus touchdowns. B, Barry Sanders busted out a 40-yard run. C, the Lions won the game. And D, Barry Sanders ran for three touchdowns. So starting with D, Barry Sanders ran for three touchdowns is false. He had 77 yards and one rushing touchdown. Next, so D is false. C, the Lions won the game. That is also false. The Lions lost 24 to 28. Barry Sanders busted out a 40-yard run. As I look on Pro Football Reference, it appears that that is actually the one. I don't know where it is, but that has to be pretty much by a process of elimination. It has to have been that one. But I'm just going to find it for you guys. Barry Sanders on the Detroit 17 right, ran right for 41 yards. So B is true. And A, Marcus Allen ran for two plus touchdowns is true. He indeed did rush for two plus touchdowns. So this challenge is A and B. Now, if you guys go into the thing and score 24 plus points is one of the requirements. You have to score over three touchdowns, like three touchdowns and a field goal. And it, I mean, it pretty much makes sense because on your first drive, it says, well, number one is anytime. So anytime is going to be A. You just have to get two touchdowns. Within that 24 plus points, you need two touchdowns. So make sure you get two touchdowns at any time in the game. Now on your first drive, you need a 41 yard run, which is Barry Sanders 41 yard run. So pretty much want to break the first play, but it shouldn't be too hard. You have it on easy. You're going to break a lot of tackles. If you have one of the new running backs, it should not be hard. So get into the game. First thing you want to do is just get out and come out an inside zone or something. Break a 41-yard run. Once you get that done, then you're free to go. Score the touchdowns, and then you could run the clock out after that. Or you have to actually score 24 points. So you have to score like four touchdowns. Three or four touchdowns or a field goal. So you better start getting that done as quickly as possible. And also make sure, real quick, guys, make sure you're getting your NFL 100 solos done. Because if you're not getting those done, you're going to forget. And you're not going to be able to get your free players. I'm going to recommend that for you guys now. Just a quick little heads up for all you guys who forget. And your team of the week shows. But yeah, this riddle was easy enough. Now let's head on over to go check out these heavyweight cards in just a second. Obviously, they're not going to be as exciting as the riddle. And like I said, I don't know about the stars, by the way, for the riddles. The stars could be either or. They haven't really specified how many stars you need to get anything. But I do know that the riddles, getting them done, matter. But if you want your 10,000 coins, definitely be getting all your stars done. And then I don't know if they'll be... I he did hear there'd be a reward. And you also get your, uh, your power-up card. I mean, your 82 to 85 cards. So if you get that done, you also get that. So take that as you will. Decent way to make coins daily. But for now, guys, let's head over to the heavyweights. Guys, the heavyweight cards are Akeem Hicks and Alex Mack, as you guys can probably see by the title. Now, as per usual, they are not up on the auction block because who wakes up at 1030 every morning besides Xerxes and, like, gets hype and is like, I'm going to pull heavyweight cards this morning. I'm super hyped. Not many people actually wake up and pull these cards. So I know you guys like to see them. You guys like to buy them. But not many people actually enjoy opening the packs. More than likely, probably going to lose coins. And there goes Alex Mack. He actually just went up as I was talking crap. Let me know if that's Xerxes because it seems like every week that's what I show you guys, which means he's probably ahead of me on this video right now. So Alex Mack, 91 overall center for the Atlanta Falcons. 6'4", 89 strength, 95 awareness. So that's pretty solid so far, 95 awareness. 82 pass block. 83 pass block power, 81 pass block finesse, 92 run block, 89 run block power, 92 run block finesse. So, pass block's ass, run block's good. Let's compare it to my Travis Frederick. So, Frederick has, okay, so unpowered up, Frederick has the same strength, one less awareness, way better pass block, uh, way better pass block, way better pass block power, way better pass block finesse, even better run block all around. I think I'd rather go with Frederick, although Khalil Mack will probably be a little bit cheaper. I'd rather wait for Frederick. Now, let's go see what his other stats are behind the Khalil Mack card. The Khalil Mack, the Alex Mack card. I wish it was Khalil Mack. Let's see what he's got. 
if he's got any like good impact in 93 impact blocking okay that's pretty solid now see if he has a good lead block too although i don't know how often centers really pull in what with the run plays you guys run but 92 lead blocks so his lead blocks great his impact blocks great so if you run pitches or you run any plays with the center pulls a lot could be pretty good there but again it looks like travis frederick's pretty similar so i don't know if i'd recommend like you guys go all in you know and make the make the replacement here but i think i think Khalil Mack. Alex Mack is definitely the better option. I mean, the, the whole Khalil Mack thing's got me messed up, guys. Alex Mack's definitely the worst option of the two, but he is cheaper, so you have to you, can't, you also have to keep that in mind. But the pass blocking just kind of sucked. Now, from what I've heard, is pretty much this. You may never... I never feel pressure from the center. I always feel like the center never gives up pass rush, but I, I, apparently there's the reason why. So pretty much... When the center is going to get pass rush, the guard just moves over and, help, and you know, helps him, it double teams a little bit or helps him out. Or other linemen pretty much get in the way and help him out. So that's why the ends always get loose. So if you're always getting, from this is what I heard though, if that left end or the right ends or outside linebackers always get around, it could be because your center's not good at pass blocking. So the left guard typically, or the left or right guard help a little bit, which leads to one-on-ones on the outsides. So you can never double the outsides. There's always a double in the middle. Or vice versa, they come off a little bit and then everything shifts right. Then one guy comes loose on the blitz. So pretty much, if your center can't pass block well, you're probably hurting your team overall because you're letting up a lot of other people one-on-one -on -one with like Lawrence Taylor's, Khalil Max, and them because your center can't pass block. Run blocking is phenomenal. Although Frederick's better at both. So I think I'd rather stick with Frederick. Now we got to wait for the next cards to come up, which typically doesn't happen for quite a while. Marcus Gilbert's up. That's an old one. Next one is Akeem Hicks, but... Let me check Mudhead real quick to see if they're up, because typically these cards take forever to go up. Guys, Mudhead is not what it used to be, but actually they're up. Oh my god, all the crap I'm talking, they're coming up. Alright, let's head on over to this Mudhead screen, show you guys the cards real quick. So we got Akeem Hicks, 91 overall left end for the Chicago Bears, number 96. He's 6'5", 336 pounds. He is, let's see, let's see what he's got going for him. He's got 62 speed, 79 excel, 66 agility, so he's highly unathletic he looks more like a defensive tackle to me more so than a left end or anything he's got 91 strength 79 jumping 96 awareness 96 play rec so the strength's great the awareness is great the play rec's great the block sheds a 92 the pursuit's a 91 tackles an 87 and his hit power is an 81 so as a whole this card's pretty awesome it's a pretty great left end card the only issue is his athleticism he'd probably play a lot better defensive tackle i don't know how they play if you move him there that's always been my issue like i don't know if you put him at defensive tackle if he plays worse obviously the secondary positions now but that just means i think they keep their chems that they like the chems still work and like the lockdown or whatever works but i don't think that actually like you know means that their stats carry over properly if that was the case though he'd be a pretty great defensive tackle that block means that he's an elite run stuffer his play rec mate, his play rec's amazing. That's gonna get, I think it's like a 99 and everything if you can come up properly. The strength's amazing. The tackle's great. The hit power is great. And he's an 89 power move. So he can pass rush really well. He can block share really well, play rec really well, pursue, tackle. If he just didn't have that 62 speed, that 79 strength, because if he gets off the if he gets off the tackles and he if he gets off the edge, he's gonna be so slow. He's the kind of guy that he's the kind of guy that when they're chasing the quarterback, the quarterback can just keep running in circles around him. And he won't either his, I don't care how good his pursuit is. He's too slow. He's going to have a big issue chasing after quarterbacks. He's going to be outrun by a skate artist all day of the week. The only guy that might he might get is like Tom Brady's and Peyton Manning's. But like any guy with a skate artist, he's going to be outrun by. Now let's head over to the Madden screen to close this video out real quick. All right, guys, so that is about it for the video. I do not see a key mix up on the block, but Alex Mack is up. He has 280K. That's quite expensive. They'll probably end up settling around like the high 180 range, maybe a little bit lower. They won't be that expensive just because they're rare right now because no one's pulled them yet. But that is about it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. Let's see if we can get to 13,000 subscribers shortly after this video quite honestly if a lot of you guys are new here and you're watching hit that subscribe button let's get to 13k comment down below what you think of the heavyweights and if you need any help in the riddles always tw tweet me at tweet at me dm me on twitter comment down below i'm um, feel free to i'll feel free to help you guys in any of those you know social media outlets and let's see if we can get a uh, thousand likes in this video obviously it's a content video probably won't but can we just get 200 likes in the first hour that is more than okay and that's about it guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace